Hello, Zettelkastiners, anti-novelists, anti-netters, Lilligans, friends, curious onlookers. Everyone is welcome. This is Victoria from victoriacrowder.com. I am the author of the forthcoming book, Zettelkasten for Fiction, Where Imagination Finds Order. So I'm starting this series to walk you through a bit of my process and give you a sneak peek into the development of my book. With that said, I'm starting with Scott Shepard's book, Anti-Net Zettelkasten. This is all things how to create your own Zettelkasten system. So if you have not gone over to scottshepard.com and picked up your book, please do. You won't be sorry. It is dense. It is thorough. It walks you through every aspect of creating your system. So I'm not going to rehash the things that Scott covers because he is the guru and does a most excellent job. Instead, I'm going to give you a peek into my process because I do depart just a little. Number one, the Zettelkasten for Fiction system as Scott develops it is primarily for nonfiction writing. It is a writer's tool. However, I'm writing a novel, so I had to retrofit his system to fit what I'm working on, which is a work of fiction. It worked beautifully. Have no fear. I'm going to walk you through it and get your writing on the page. So the one place where I depart primarily is in the index. A Zettelkasten consists of three parts. Number one, it's a set of main cards, which is where you record your thoughts, your ideas, your interactions with the things that you're reading. That's in the main section of your box, and those all have an alphanumeric address. That is governed by two things. One is a bibliography. That's most kin to a library card catalog. It's lettered A to Z. And that's where you file your authors of the books that you're reading. You include the title, you include the publication date, you maybe include the goal for reading the book, and so forth. So the bibliography cards are how you track your reading and your research. Then you have an index, also generally labeled A to Z, on which you install cards using keywords. So for example, Airplane, Aardvark, and Apple would all go on your A card, and then those would each be assigned a number so that you could go over to your main cards and look them up and find that information based on the keywords. I depart from the index in that I don't index using A to Z cards. I index using an 8.5 by 11 Happy Planner Disk System where I have hole punched tab dividers, one for every letter of the alphabet, and I simply took the three ring binder system and I punched it with my Happy Planner disc punch so that I could just insert those right into my Happy Planner. So this is how I index all of my keywords. As you can see, these are all A words that have something to do with my novel that I may want to get back to. So if I want to go to look up asymmetrical warfare, I'm going to go to 7120.1 over in my note card box, which I will show you tomorrow. And then I know I would find the information I'm looking for on asymmetrical warfare. So that's how my index departs. It's a small thing, but it's significant to me because I wanted to be able to see more of my keywords at one glance rather than having them on multiple four by six cards. The second thing I want to show you is the actual genesis of how I first started my Zettelkasten for Fiction. So what you're looking at is labeled Master 7000 The Conjuring Stitch. Conjuring Stitch is the title of my novel, and what I've done is I've chosen the 7,000s in my box in order to start building out my story elements. I'll talk about numbering more in a second, but here, see, I've taken my main female character and I've labeled her 7110, and then offshooting from her, 7111.a is her mom and .b is her dad. 7112 is Gretchen, who's a mentor that figures prominently in the story. Down here under the blue tab, I've numbered 7120. So I've just gone up 10 from 7110 to 7120, and this is my main male character. 7121.1 is his parents. 7123 is his childhood best friend. So you can see how I've just started to bullet off of this main number the other characters that exist in this main character's world. 7130 is all of my bad guys. You can see I've got 7131 through 34. So that's only four potential antagonists or villains going on there, but you'll notice in the next draft, I expand that significantly. 
7140 is the Voynich Manuscript and 7150 is Embroidery because both of those things figure prominently. So you can see I've just spaced them 10 digits apart and that's how I've started organizing my main characters. So then when I really started to, to dig in, I started fleshing those out even more. The one I want to show you is here and it is my bad guys who I mentioned. Look at that, there's like 20 of them. So I've really fleshed out my potential antagonist for my story so that I can really start dialing in those challenges, antagonists, villains, all of those things that are gonna challenge my characters. The last thing I wanna show you is my sketch for my numbering system. So I kept Scott's conceit of using academic disciplines as your main set of numbers. Arts and humanities are the 1000s, social sciences are the 2000s, natural sciences are the 3000s, formal sciences are the 4000s, applied sciences are the 5000s. For me, the 6000s are quotes, references, it's kind of a catch-all. And then the 7000s, as you already know, is where all of the information specific to my book one of the trilogy, The Conjuring Stitch, all of that lives under 7000s. So let's look at some of my brainstorming. This is the very first stab that I took at establishing my numbering system. So under the 1000s Arts and Humanities, I gave Library and Museum Science 1100. I gave Zettelkasten for Fiction, which is the book I'm currently writing, 1110. I don't have anything under 1200 or 1300, but I kind of chose the middle spot, the 1400s for literature and language and theories about the novel. Let's jump over to Applied Sciences. Under 5001, I've got Metallurgy. Under 5101, Military Intelligence. 5201, Military Science and War. 5203, Espionage. So let's look at the Formal Sciences, 4000s. 4100, Pure Math. 4200, Applied Math and Cryptology. So see how I just started spacing those out in a way that made sense to me so that I could spread out the first things that I was researching and reading about that applied to my novel and start installing those cards into my system so I kind of had a system going. So this is a look at how I very first started getting that numbering system going getting it applied to my characters and my novel so that I could start organizing all of the worlds of information that I had to write my novel, and also how I started organizing the information that is now becoming the Zettelkasten for Fiction book. So in the next video, we will spin around and I will take you over to the note cards and show you exactly how this played out in my note card system in relation to my main cards. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Get those words on the page and keep writing, and I'll see you next time.